Hello, I'm Ali Reza Parchami. I'm going to show you how to add WindCap library to Visual Studio and Qt Creator. At first, we should go to the WindCap website, download page. We should install uh, the WindCap on your device. So, we should download an installer for Windows here. Next. Now we have WindCap packet on our device, uh, but because of we want to program with the packet uh, for WindCap, we should download the development pack also. So we download it and extract it here and here. Now we make a project on Visual Studio and if we want to compile something like this Visual Studio doesn't recognize pcap.h so go to the project properties the project tab properties to the C++ general the additional include directories and we should add this folder include here so download windgap and include select this one and select folder and press ok next we go to the preprocessor with the preprocessor definitions and after win32 we add WP cap and have underline removed so we should have all of these three and press ok then next go to the linker tab to the general additional library directories now we should add this folder so here and add this folder and select folder press ok and then the input additional dependencies we add wpcap.lib and packet.lib so we added the include folder to the additional include directories in the general C++ we add have removed and WP cap in the preprocessor definition and we add leap folder to the additional library directories and add WP cap and packet.lib to the additional dependencies. Now, if you want to build something like this, the project, the Visual Studio, recognize pcap.h. Now, if you want to add wpcap to Qt Creator, go to that and Go to the dot profile and add something like this include path and add this address, copy this and paste it and leaves dash L next add this address this address copy this and also dash l w p cap and dash l packet i should add this one and this one at the end of the leaves line 
and because I use win sock foo and WS2 TCP IP I should add read plus WLS2 and 32 be careful that add this to WP cap and have removed so when you add all of these five you can build your project without any error this one this one and this one also this is a project that and uh, recognize username and password in the telnet connection and you can visit uh, my github page to download this project here the network lab 971 this project and uh, the take username and password that the client use when they want to use telnet and show the car valid and invalid password and username for user thanks for your watching